What the Falcons do, rise up. Welcome to Rise Up Reactions, show where we talk all things Falcons, NFL, Georgia sports, and in general sports news of the day. I'm your host, Dr. Lee Denny. I'm actually here at lunch today, just had to be flipping through news stories. And uh, we officially have the NFL and the NFL Players Association on Thursday reached a settlement in the Deshaun Watson disciplinary matter, agreeing that the Cleveland Browns quarterback will serve an 11-game suspension without pay. Uh, after he was accused by more than two dozen women of sexual misconduct during massage sessions, uh, he will be fined $5 million, miss 11 games. So, uh, this is a very raw reaction. I actually have to look this up really quick to see uh, what all is going on with, uh, with the Browns, who all we're going to be talking about here. So, we've already talked about the six games that he was initially going to be missing. Um, and those games include games against the Panthers, Jets, Steelers, Falcons, Chargers, and Patriots, um, which they could have very well come out with a you know 500 or winning uh, record out of that. Now we're talking about the meat of the schedule here. So now now we're talking about Jacoby Brissett or Josh Rosen being your starting quarterback for an additional five games. So now we're talking about the Ravens, the Bengals, the Dolphins, the Bills, and the Buccaneers. They ain't winning any of those. That's my official prediction uh, with Josh Rosen or Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. Um, the talent is just too good in all of those teams. And then they have to come back. And, you know, somebody had said this, I think, on uh, Clickbait Sports, that the NFL was going to just, you know, really highlight this and come back and try and make a storyline out of it. The freaking game he comes back for in Week 12 is the freaking Texans. So where Deshaun Watson just came from, they, they're letting them play that game. I think that was very, very much scripted. Um, I feel like he does deserve a full year. Uh, at this point, I feel like the matter is closed from the NFL, if that is true. Sounds like it's, uh, it's a mutual decision by both sides or a mutual agreement. So they're going to have Deshaun Watson for the Texans, Bengals, Brown, sorry, Texans, Bengals, Ravens, Saints, uh, commies and Steelers, so they'll only have him for six games this year. The Browns are not making the playoffs this year. Y'all can just go ahead and wipe that out unless something catastrophic happens. Uh, this is going to be a lost season for the Browns. They have a lot of talent on at every other part of the ball other than quarterback without Deshaun Watson there. Now, and here's the other thing: in his game against the uh, against the Jaguars, he looked terrible. I mean, Deshaun Watson looked absolutely piss poor, pitiful. So. More than happy to see that from a guy that I think is a complete scumbag. Um, so, anyways, again, 11-game suspension, $5 million fine. Not enough in my mind, but uh, the NFL scripted this out so that he's going to be coming back playing the Texans. So I think they're going to be reasonably three or four wins maximum in the first 11 games of the season. And then they're going to have still a tough schedule when they come back. Again, they got the Bengals, Ravens, Saints, Commies, and Steelers. I I don't know how many of those games they win. I think they're going to end up with a losing schedule, so they're going to be rewarded to some degree with a higher draft pick. You know, allowing them to take some better capital to protect Deshaun Watson or to kind of protect their future. Um, I hope Baker comes out and beats the absolute crap out of them in Week One. I will be a Panthers fan for that day only. Um, but otherwise, you know, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I have definitely received some hate on this topic from people who are watching this channel. Um, for whatever reason, there are some people out there that think that J Deshaun Watson is just this upstanding human being who can do no wrong, and I've definitely seen that in comments on my videos. Uh, I think those people are, are very de uh, delusional and misguided. Uh, that would just be my thoughts, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. would love to hear your thoughts on it, but yeah, 11-game suspension. Do not draft in fantasy. There is no, no scenario where you are going to win your league if you take Deshaun Watson in your initial draft. There, there is zero scenario there. So, anyways, good luck to everybody. I've got a bunch of drafts coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I have finished my draft videos. Not a whole lot else going on right now. Um, I'll probably do one last update on, on that coming up. As far as preseason week number two, uh, you know, Falcons were playing on Monday against the Jets. Uh, not necessarily the most riveting game. May do a video, may not do a video. I may just kind of wait until we get to the season because, uh, just to be honest, nobody likes preseason football. Um, so otherwise, you know, 
that's what I got for you. If you liked the video, hit the like button, consider subscribing, it really help the channel out. Until next time, rise up.